as of now, we spoke about inelastic collisions that take place along one dimension. So we spoke about head-on inelastic collisions. Now we're going to examine inelastic collisions that take place along two dimensions. So let's suppose we have the X and Y plane. We have two objects, object B with mass MB and object A with mass MA. Now before the collision takes place, object B is stationary and object A is moving in the positive direction along the X axis. So eventually the two objects collide. The collision is not head on and that basically means that they will move away in different directions that will lie along the XY plane. So let's say object A will move in this direction that makes an angle theta A prime with respect to the X axis. And object B will move in this direction that makes an angle theta B prime with respect to the X axis. So the final magnitude of the velocity of object A is V A prime and the final velocity of object B after our collision takes place is V B prime. Now, we want to determine the equations for such a situation. So, because we have an inelastic collision, we have the conservation of momentum. So that basically means that the momentum of our two objects before the collision takes place is equal to the sum of the momentum of the two objects after our collision takes place. So momentum before is equal to momentum after our collision takes place. Now notice because we are dealing with two-dimensional momentum vectors, we're going to have X component and Y component momentum vectors. So we have two equations, one for the X component momentum vectors and the second one for the Y component momentum vectors. So let's begin with the X axis. So we have these two momentum vectors and each of these two vectors will have two component vectors. One will point in the x-axis, along the x-axis, and one, and one will point along the y-axis. So we have the sum of the momentum vectors that point along the x-axis of the two objects before the collision takes place is equal to the sum of our x component momentum vectors after our collision takes place. So the primes simply signify after our collision takes place. Now, before the collision takes place, the momentum of object B is zero because it's stationary. So this term becomes zero. And let's say that the initial velocity of object B is VA, and because it points in the x-axis in the positive direction, this momentum is simply MAVA. So MA times VA plus zero is equal to this sum plus this sum. Now, what is the velocity of object A along the x-axis? Well, it's simply VA prime multiplied by cosine theta A prime. So we take this velocity multiplied by the mass of object A and add that to MB times VB prime cosine theta B prime. So notice we can cross this out and we get the following equation. So this equation is the momentum equation for the x-axis, for the x-component momentum vectors. So let's represent this with the number 1. Now, the same exact thing can be done for the y-component momentum vectors. The sum of the y-component momentum vectors before the collision is equal to the sum of the momentum vectors that point along the y-axis after our collision takes place. So prime and prime. Now notice, neither of these objects are moving along the y-axis before the collision took place. And that means these two terms are simply zero. So zero is equal to, well now we have to find the velocity vectors that point along the y-axis. 
So we get MAVA prime sine theta A prime plus MBVB prime sine theta B prime. So now we bring this term to the left side and we get the following equation. And let's label this equation number two. Now, we have a system of two equations and that means we can solve for a maximum of two unknowns. So let's look at one application. Let's look at the following example. Let's suppose that object A is moving along the x-axis in positive direction with velocity of 25 meters per second when it strikes a stationary object B. Now the two objects move off at 45 degree angles with respect to the x-axis. Now if both have equal mass, let's find the velocities of the two objects after our collision takes place. So we're going to use these two equations for the conservation of momentum. So we're assuming we have an inelastic collision takes, uh, taking place. So we have object B is stationary, object A is moving in the positive direction along the x-axis, it eventually collides, and our two objects move away at an angle 45 degrees with respect to the x-axis. So, let's begin by using this equation first. So we're using equation number two. So notice that our two masses are equal. So we can take this equation and replace MA and MB with simply M. So MVA prime sine of the angle 45 equals negative M times VB prime times sine of the angle negative 45. This is negative 45 because this is below the x-axis. So this is negative and this is positive. And recall the following property. Sine of the angle negative theta is equal to negative of the sine positive theta. So that means we can use this property and we can cross out the m's because they appear on both sides and we get the following result. VA prime equal or VA prime sine 45 is equal to VB prime sine 45. The sine 45's cancel and we see that VA prime is equal to VB prime. So the magnitude of the velocities or the speeds of the two objects that have the same exact mass will be exactly the same. Now, using this information and using this equation, we want to calculate what the actual magnitude of the velocity of the two objects is. So let's write this equation and replace MA and MB with simply M, and we see that M appears on each term, so the M's will cancel, and we're left with the following result. Now, we have VA is equal to VA prime cosine theta A prime plus VB prime cosine theta B prime. Now because VA prime is equal to VB prime, we can simply replace the VB prime with VA prime. And that's exactly what we have here. So VA prime is equal to the sum of VA prime cosine 45 and VA prime cosine 45, which becomes 2 VA prime cosine 45. So because we are solving for VA prime for the velocity of object A after our collision takes place, we simply write the following equation. So we bring the 2 and the cosine 45 to the left side and we have VA prime is equal to VA divided by 2 cosine 45. So cosine 45 is simply radical 2 divided by 2 and VA is given to be 25 meters per second. So 25 meters per second divided by 2 cosine 45 is equal to this value, so 50 divided by 2 times radical 2, and that's approximately equal to 17.7 meters per second. 
So this is the value of the speed of object A after our collision takes place. And because VA prime is equal to VB prime, the speed of object B after our collision takes place is exactly the same, 17.7 meters per second.